In this video, I'm gonna show you how to go from a knob for your shower faucet to a handle. A pretty important thing to remember is that always plug the uh, drain so that way when you're working here, all the debris that falls down won't plug your drain. Also, very important, make sure you have all the water turned off, the main valve, so that way when you're working on this, uh, no water is going to fly out at you and then you can't stop it and that's going to be a problem. Start by unscrewing this center screw. Remove the knob. And this comes out easy sometimes. If not, you can use a pair of pliers, but most of the time it comes out pretty easily. Unscrew these two screws. And this plate should just come right out. And we're going to replace this center cockroach. I already bought a replacement for it. Now the reason why I'm doing this in the first place is because my, uh, my faucet is leaking. And to fix that, we have to replace it with a new cockroach. And since we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead and replace this, what they call the uh, push and pull type of knob into the one that turns. And so in order to take the cockroach out, there is a little tab here that, uh, that holds the uh, cockroach in place. So we need to pull it up. It's like a little pin. All right, after that's done, you're going to try to pull this out. A lot of times it's going to be tough. So let me put this back in. So if if you find it super tough to pull it out with pliers, they sell this um, uh, uh, cockroach remover kit, but you don't really need that. You need a pair of like this type of uh, needle nose and you would just put this right in there and then you could turn it and you can see the, the, the plastic part turns with it. All right, and once that you, once you loose, loosen that up, you can go ahead and use a pair of pliers and pull it out. Okay. Okay, real quick. So I put the cockroach back because I realized the new cockroach in the packaging, they actually include one of these, um, the uh, cockroach removal. So you, sometimes it gets stuck really hard. So you would need this and place it in there and give it like a turn. Now it's loosened up. Then you can go ahead and use a pair of pliers to take it out easily. Okay, and this is the new cockroach and we're gonna put it in the same way. I'm surprised they didn't give me this uh, push pin. So this didn't come with the uh, package. that and you are good to go real important to put this pin back okay. and we'll put this part back I don't know what this part is called like a sleeve okay now we're gonna put the plate back in it's a little tricky because the, uh, the pins all the way in there So the packaging comes with an A adapter or a uh, B adapter, okay? So here are the instructions and it says, if you turn off your faucet using a push and pull motion, use adapter A. If you turn on your faucet by turning counterclockwise, use adapter B. So we are going to be using adapter A. 
So step one is to place washer F into the valve stem of G. So here's F and we will pipe the step into G. All right. Next step is to make sure that the notch on the cockroach, the valve is facing down. Okay, this is the old one. I've already installed the new one. Next step is to place the adapter A into the valve G. And then secure it with the screw labeled E. And the last step is to install the handle and tighten the screw with an Allen wrench. If you find it a little difficult to put it on with this Allen wrench, you might have to find a long one. Then you could tighten it using this provided Allen wrench. Now we're gonna go in to test it. And that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.